Alright, hi people, it's Shakes here, and yes, I finally got it, and, um, well, if you guys have any questions, uh, that the, uh, what is it, the comments section of that video didn't answer, because for some reason when I answer a guy's question on as to how I feel about, uh, Sailor Moon R, part one, um, somehow I got deleted, yeah, I might have deleted the whole thread, I don't know, I don't get it, might have been removed by spam. I don't know, um, but, uh, I found Sailor Moon R to be okay, I hate Chibiusa, but everything else was okay, you know, very episodic stuff, and, um, not really the best of characters in terms of, like, the villains and whatever, but, you know, what can you do, uh, I kind of do want to see Sailor Moon Crystal just to see what the manga did or what the anime did differently from the manga because I heard, I read that um it diverged from the manga into adaptation expansion as, the TV, as what she, TV Tropes calls it. Um, but until we get an official release of that, I have Sailor Moon uh, Season 1 Part 1 on Blu-ray and DVD. Now yes, there are uh, quality issues like the um, the, uh, ghosting problems, which, uh, people have talked about, and, uh, all that. Um, I haven't watched this yet, but, uh, might do a review once I get part two. I'm not too sure, though. Um, might do a review right after all the, right after the fifth season set comes out and all the movies are out, so, you'll get my full thoughts then if I decide to do it, so... Yeah, and we're talking about probably a few years. Because um, I imagine that it'll be two more. It'll be the next two seasons next year, and then uh, the final season the year after. So, yeah, unless they do what Paramount did with Star Trek Next Generation and release three seasons in one year, which I don't think would be too bad. All they really do in the remastering stuff is just differentiate the colors and everything from the, from the original source to make it look brand new and in HD, but whatever. But anyways, let's get to the unboxing portion of this. Um, so yeah, and I should know that I got this used uh, from a seller on Amazon, uh, Go Hastings, I believe, um, and it was marked as very good in terms of quality and everything, and I got it because it was like a little bit over 40 bucks, as, and since Amazon keeps listing it as they'll ship it if you order it when they get it back in stock, but I, I don't think they'll get the limited edition version of this back in stock. It's been out of stock for months now, so, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, and I didn't want to buy it, uh, from anyone else, or even on eBay. Um, well, eBay was my first choice, in case if I didn't find a better price, but when I saw this was for a good price on Amazon, I jumped at the chance. Um, so yeah, so... So the back thing isn't there like I showed, so, yeah. Um, but on the front, you have Usagi right there as Sailor Moon, the Sailor Moon logo right there. On there, you got Sailor Moon Season 1, Blu-ray, DVD, Toei Animation, Viz Media, and all that. And that symbol right up there on the back, you just got the symbol that was on the side. So, yeah, unfortunately... I wish I did have the backing, but you can check out different unboxings to see. As far as I know, it's it's not that different from R. So if you saw that unboxing that I did, uh, you know what it said. Basically like 1080p, the length of time, and um, everything else. So, yeah. So, uh, let me just get this out of here. Basically, uh, this is a placeholder for Part 2, which, yeah, it says Season 1, Part 2 goes there. Which I will get eventually. I'll probably order it uh, probably in a few weeks or something like that. Um, so, yeah, depending on when I can get the money. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, we have the Blu ray DVD combo pack right here. Same picture as she has right there. And Sailor Moon right there. So, yeah. So, on the side, Sailor Moon Season 1, Part 1 and Blu-ray DVD and all that. So yeah, basically, uh, basically the back would say what this does. So yeah, so it's not a total loss. Um, so you get the description of the uh, set, 
So I'll get in a different pose right there. Uh, pictures from the series. Uh, announcement panel and fan reactions, dub recording behind the scenes, art gallery, official announcement trailer, clean opening and endings, and more. Um, check out to say the, the special features on the Sailor Moon uh, season, uh, R Part 1 set were actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, so 6 discs, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, 23 episodes, 1080p HD, 4x3, Japanese and English audio, um, and English subtitles. Yeah, region A for the Blu-ray, region 1 for the DVD, approximately 530 minutes, and yeah, and TV PG, so, yeah. So, right in here, we have the discs, disc 1, 2, 3 of the DVDs, and, or Blu-rays, and disc 1, 2, and 3 of the Blu-rays, which, as I said, for season 2, part 1, um, they have pretty much the same exact drawings on the discs, it's just a different color for the discs. So, yeah. Then on the back there, you got, um, the villains, I believe, that show up somewhere in the set. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it's like three of them. So, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and also this case broke, so, at least partially. It doesn't exactly stay closed as well as you would want it to, but it, it's fine. It's just gonna stay in this. Now we get to the art book, or the booklet, limited edition booklet, and yeah, so it says season one, limited edition booklet right there, and really nothing on the back. So yeah, um, all it is have a beginning, and these are, um, I always skipped ahead a bit, but accidentally, but those are the descriptions of the episodes that come in season one. Which forty six, so yeah, and then uh, cast and producer credits and everything. Uh, complete the season, Sailor Moon Part One, wait, season one, part two, coming February two thousand fifteen. Which yeah, that doesn't totally date this at all. And again, uh, Sailor Moon Art Part One did the same thing too. So yeah, so then you have the songs that appear in the series. Uh, translated into English, um, so yeah, and, uh, character bios, and everything, tuxedo mask, <laughs> okay, oh, and artwork of the villains, I assume. Uh, the cats, Artemis, and Luna. These two. These guys, which is, it kind of looks like a poster, a postcard type artwork, which is okay. You know, and I accidentally bent the page. So, yeah. And that is basically it for this set. Let me just take this out so I can put this in there. And yeah, so buy it, don't buy it. You can buy the episodes on iTunes anyways. I think it's a I think it's a failure with the authoring of the DVD uh, versus the episodes themselves is what's, is what's caused, right, causing the ghosting. Um, otherwise, if the error hadn't happened, I imagine it's it's like the same type of deal that we got with Sailor Moon R Part 1, because there wasn't any ghosting there, and I'm pretty sure they made sure to make sure that the authoring job wasn't there, and if you get the DVDs, they're going to be in a box if you have a 4x3 TV, because the aspect ratio was just, is just fucked up, and, um, on the DVDs. So, if you do buy the set and you want to watch just the DVDs if you have a DVD player, I strongly suggest caution until you get a Blu-ray player. Um, so, yeah, and I'd probably recommend buying them on iTunes if you're worried about the ghosting issue or whatever, but... I don't know, I guess it's kind of half and half on who notices the ghosting and who does not, so... I'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. Um... So not much else I can say, so comment, subscribe, go to my channel, go to my check, 
go to my second channel, follow me on Twitter, link is in the description, support me, support me on Patreon if you want, link is, link is in the description of that, and I'll talk to you guys more later. Horrible problem with, me, with like, my words and everything. So yeah.